today's video, I'm gonna show you guys one of the control that I like the most with the Gi when I have chest on chest connection in top half guard. I'm gonna set up a lapel control. I was gonna give him the luxury of a free hands and it's very, very difficult to hand move. And that gives us opportunities to work submissions as you start progressing. In the past two videos, you work how to pass to side control with the head arm control and you work how to pass to the mouth and take it back with the head and arm control. Okay, today, let's say in case you cannot get your head underneath the arm and trap the arm, what you should be doing. Okay, so make sure if you didn't check the two videos, go there and check. Every time that you end up, when I make sure when I free the top leg and I start to get a chest on chest connection, my forehead always go to the far side shoulder and my elbow block his hip and I try to connect my knee on my elbow to prevent his moving away from me. Okay, my knee always has to be in the tailbone. If my knee is somewhere here, easier to him moving away, insert his knee and now he's gone. Okay, I end up losing the control that I just gained. So when you're here, I maintain that connection. When Cash tries to move him away, I follow him. He tried to move away, I follow him. Okay? So the other knee always close to the pocket to don't end up letting him go elbow escape. If my knee are open, he uses his elbow on my knee, he's creating space, his knee comes inside, and now he has the guard back. Okay? So I make sure my knee creates a wedge on the hips. So now the grip is going to be the collar. And I need to, if my partner is smart, he's gonna have a frame on my bicep to prevent the head control. So I need to create distraction here. I bring my arm all the way over, and that's allowed to create a little bit of space between his elbow and his rib capes. When I bring my elbow back, I swing, and I have the head control. Boom, that's the first step. Now, the moment I get here, my knees start facing this way. I use the luxury of my hands on the floor, and I start to shift my hips in this direction. I have a toes on the floor, if you guys notice, I have my knee on his tailbone. My tiptoes is alive, and I'm in good position here. So the past two videos, I show you guys how to retract the elbow and trap the army with their head control. But it's not always that it's gonna be there. It's gonna have a time that the person's gonna stay super tight with the elbow, and it's gonna be very, very difficult. When I notice that, what I start to do, I start to open his lapel, and I start to create uh, this type of motion by open the lapel like so. Now I switch my grip and I use my palm in this fashion. Now I start to bring the hands close and I start to adjust this lapel and if you guys notice, I create a handle here with the lapel, look. I create this handle here with the lapel. I try to go as deep, I don't grab any grip. I, I have a, uh, I, wanna, I wanna make this grip here, look, under the armpit with my thumb and I try to retract my pink. Look how my pink go towards me, okay? This position, look how trapped he is. If he's trying to use his arm, he's very, very uh, good control, and his arm is useless here, okay? In this position, give you guys the ability of start to hide your head, and now the frame doesn't bore you anymore, okay? If you guys notice, your hips can't touch the floor, or even better, maintain your hips always off the floor and side as if you can, okay? If you feel like you're gonna release, just make sure you don't release too much weight on top of your partner, okay? From here, same ideas as before. Now I have a one free hand, I'm gonna to start to high tripod, I'm gonna to start to free my knee, and I walk in here towards this position, my hands go inside his hips first, and now my knee go to the floor. So why I bring my hands here? To don't allow his knee come inside. If my hands on the floor, his knee come inside, and now he can start to extend me away and I end up losing the grip, okay? So I make sure before I slide my knee, I place my hands inside his hips. Now when he starts to bring his knee inside, try, no way, no space, okay? I apply a lot of pressure here towards his hips. Now look how I start to twist his body. From here, my hands, I'm gonna start to insert my hands. I start to pull his head up and I start to slide my, uh, insert my hands on his chest. I find a grip, and when I find that grip, I grab an angel of the lapel, and I make sure there's a little piece out. I never grab an angel of the lapel like so. I always grab as deep as I can with a little piece I still have. I insert my wrist on his throat. From here, most of the time, the person's gonna make this reaction. They're gonna start to defend him, and they're gonna try to be sideways. He know if he's flat on his back, I just insert the second hands, and I have a front choke. He's gonna be turning. When it's turn, I grab on his elbow, I put everything across, and I switch my grip from this grip to push his elbow all the way down. 
okay? If you guys notice now, I have my wrist under one part of his neck, and now his biceps is take place in the opposite side. That was making the strangle uh, strong. Now to reinforce that control, I bring my shoulder on top of his shoulder in this position, and I find this grip here in the lapel. Okay, the grip will go under the neck, and I just reinforce the control with this grip here. This grip can be here, can be here, uh, whatever you feel comfortable. My favorite one, I go just here. If you prefer to go here, it's fine as well. Okay, the choke is on. I'm gonna bring my right elbow towards my right hip, I retract, and I have a good strangle.